Now, if we <clears throat> have a G5 chord, we take a one finger G chord, we still wanna lean on the fifth string, dampen that string, and place our third finger on the second string, third fret. Strum down from the sixth string down to the second string. Now, with this finger, we can lean on the first string as well to get that sound. G5 chord. All right, brings us to the C sus2 chord. Place our second finger on the fifth string, uh, third fret. We're gonna lean on the fourth string. Then we're gonna take our third finger and place it on the second string, third fret. And we're gonna strum down. string now with our third finger we can dampen the the first string just kind of curl your fingers on the strings C sus2 now the D5 chord we're gonna again anchor our third finger on the second string third fret and place our second finger on the third string second fret Strumming down from the fourth string. Again, we can roll our third finger on the bottom string so it doesn't make a sound. Now, or instead of using our second finger, we can use our first finger. Okay. Now we can, the D5 slash A chord is just taking the same D5 chord and adding the fifth string to it. Makes a much fuller sound. That's a D5 slash A chord. Right now, E minor, we're gonna take, uh, there's <clears throat> two ways you can play this with our first and second finger. First finger's on the fifth string second fret and then our se uh, second finger is on the fourth string second fret and we don't dampen any strings we just let them all ring out so you can play with your first and second finger or you can play with my second and third finger it doesn't the fingers don't change the sound the reason why you might want to use different fingers is because when you're going to another chord um, using the different fingers will allow you to get to the next chord easier than if you're using the opposite fingers and this will come up later on so either play the E minor with their second third finger second fret or first and second finger